Video 2.4 Introduction to Free RTOS In this video, we will cover the following topics. What is Real-Time Operating System? Overview of Free RTOS Need of Free RTOS Real-Time Operating System, abbreviated as RTOS, is an operating system for real-time applications. So, RTOS is basically an operating system. But one second, then what is the difference between a normal operating system such as Unix and RTOS? Let's find this out. A conventional operating system can only execute a single task at a time, whereas RTOS is capable of multitasking. But on your laptop, you run multiple tasks simultaneously, then how is that possible? Those tasks are not executed concurrently. The switch between the tasks is so rapid that it looks like it's multitasking. RTOS is also different in how it manages the sharing of system resources. RTOS shares the system resources on the basis of a scheduler, data buffers, or a fixed task prioritizer in a multitasking environment. The delay in response in an RTOS has disastrous effects since RTOS is a time crucial operating system. Let us understand the difference between an RTOS and a conventional operating system through an example. Windows is not a real time operating system. So, let's take an example of a laptop running Windows 10. If we open two applications at a time on our laptop and any one of the applications takes more time to open up, the system will not have any harmful impact. On the other hand, let's take an example of an aircraft that uses a real-time operating system. RTOS works on task prioritization. Hence, the landing gears come out in a specified time interval once the command is issued. If it has a normal operating system like Windows or Unix, it will crash if the landing wheels do not come on time. Hence, all the real-time tackling situations like a red light crossing or an autonomous vehicle etc. have RTOS. RTOS are even driven and preemptive, that is, the OS shifts tasks of a higher priority task that need to be serviced first. The tasks are switched on the basis of priority or interrupts. Wait. But this is a course on an IoT and embedded framework, then why are we discussing an operating system? Due to the benefits and features of RTOS discussed earlier in this video, we use a real-time operating system with embedded and IoT projects. After learning about a real-time operating system, let us discuss free RTOS. Free RTOS is nothing but a class of RTOS. Microcontrollers are resource-constrained processors with very little memory as compared to a laptop or a computer. Hence, free RTOS is designed to be small enough to run on a microcontroller. Microcontrollers normally have a specific and dedicated job to do. The dedicated end application and size constraints of microcontrollers restricts the use of full RTOS. On the contrary, free RTOS provides inter-task communication, real-time scheduling functionality, timing and synchronization primitives only. Hence, free RTOS is the best choice for microcontrollers like ESP32. Additional functionalities of RTOS can be added to free RTOS as add-on components as and when required. The ESP32 board has a dual-core CPU as we discussed in some of the previous lectures of this course. In the next lecture, we will see how to use free RTOS to effectively utilize both the cores of our microcontroller. That is all folks. This brings us to the end of this video. Video Summary In this video, we have covered the following topics. What is the real-time operating system? Overview of free RTOS Need of free RTOS In the next video, we will work with dual cores of ESP32.